Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Ignited Entry. I'm gonna get a wager a guess that this has something to do with fire. Um, but let's check it out and see if I'm right. I don't know why, this is a weird feeling, you know. Okay. I have, uh... Yeah, it's probably not healthy for me to have that on the wall. He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night, flames withdrew. Oh. Mother and son lost the in, lost to the blaze. Their lives cut short in a fiery haze. The father saw the firemen arrive, but ran in first, too fearful of time. Oh. Through smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The fireman pulled him and rushed him away. Father passed, his family gone. And the fireman's guilt would linger on. He left the job, tried to stand tall. But the silence broke with a sudden phone call. Alright. You're actually the uh, poem? This is a new one for me. Oh, hello. Oh, I pick it up. Okay, cool. You. <laughs> hey, who's this? Hey, it's your brother, Jason. Okay. Hey, Jason. Long time to see. How have you been? Yeah, it's been a while. I've been busy. Yeah, I noticed. I haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. Okay, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up? Close. I'm moving out, and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. Moving out? You could have given me some heads up. Now, why, why now? Why now all of a sudden? Life happens, all right? Look, I don't need to explain myself to you. Can you help or not? Well, I guess I can help. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, are we in Kansas? So, how have you been? I've been fine. Nothing special has been going on, really. Just the same old routine, I guess. Yeah. I l the hell was that? Why can't I look straight ahead? What was that? Probably just a church bell or something. Can I look around? Anyway, are you still looking for a new job? Sure, I guess. Yeah. I wanted to make a difference. To be the one who saved lives. But when you fail to save someone, it breaks you. And no one tells you how to carry that weight. Ooh. I don't know why I just moved. Okay. That's weird. It's nearby. I didn't I missed what he might have said. Pull over where that noise is coming from. Why? Can we just have to keep driving? Let's not stop. Why stop? That's different. What is that? Oh, it's a church. I've been here before. Have I? The house burnt down, and I was there to see the family that was trapped inside. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Oh, now I can move? You have a very pointy chin. Yes. Oh. Oh, the rose beard.
Rose's end. I'm stuck. Do we have a flashlight? I'm assuming a lighter would be a bad idea. We remember the symbol. Triangle with a barbell. Okay. What does this symbol mean? You don't know. Oh, why, 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 why would he? Oh, what? Oh. I don't know if I... Okay. Oh, I can look around now. Ow. Now you entry. Hello, brother. What are you doing to me? Where the hell are you going? All right. See ya. And I'm all out of call. All right. Oh, the mark. Did just write that on me? Sybil hasn't cut into my flesh? Oh. They're ground. Searing pain, and then I see it carved into my flesh. The symbol of my fate. This mark binds me to a destiny I cannot escape. All right. Find Jason. All right. What is this place? Nice artwork. I don't know if I like this. Meh. Bob and weave. Oh! Shut up. Okay. Reception. Hey! Jason? Where's locked? Oh, we have an inventory system. Interesting. I'm assuming, yeah. I don't even do a down to get in there. Enter the hole, sure. Oh, great, I gotta do it myself. That's perfect. Oh. Oh, that was short. Why is this thing sprint? What? I heard something. Oh. Deception? I don't... Can I... 
No, I can't. Okay, I tried to walk it off again. No. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, and welcome to... My name is Steve, and I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Okay. Before we begin, an identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. I'm sorry? Please stand still. Whoa. Hmm. How strange. The cause of your death is blank in my database, which means you are still alive. Can you recall what brought you here? Very light. Hatch, yeah. Hatch to the ground brought me and my brother into this place. The hatch was in a previously burnt down house where the family inside died in the house fire. There's another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason who checked in a few minutes ago. You two have matching DNA, which means that Brother Jason is your brother, who is named Jason. Which also AI. means that an entity in this room has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what now? Since I can't decide into an aftergrave without a valid death permit. I will release you to freely roam the until the ones who brought you here decide to send you back. But before you go, I'm required to supply you with the fast package. This is used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to counteract insanity. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs. Unless you like peeking into other people's memories. Well that could be fun. Anyways. You will now be transferred to... Cha -cha -cha. Okay. Location... Visitor Glide. Okay. Hello, and welcome aboard on the Visitor Glide. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your inviter. You will arrive shortly. My inviter? Oh. A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. Yeah. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. A VHS? Have a tea. Never mind. In a horrifying incident that has shocked the community, a house fire has resulted in the loss of three lives as it appears to be a sacrificial ritual. The victims have been identified as and her 12-year-old son. Tragically, the father also lost his life in the hospital a few days later from lung damage and a heroic attempt to rescue his family upon discovery. Oh. Okay. I remember these names. Oh, it's just this door. Where do the other doors lead? Sure, I'll enter the room. By the way, I'm gonna be getting a cold, so I keep coughing. So, just a little heads up. I'll try to mute them. <laughs> I'm Jason. Alright. There's the lovely artwork again. Oh, Windows. A computer. Okay. 
Oh, uh... No one... Look! No. Okay, so we need to find a password. There's a door. Let's see if there's anything by the door. Oh, I can. Okay. Before we do that, let's just make sure. Camera in the bedroom. That's new. All right. He needed. So we need a password and a key. Oh, it's an orb. Emily's eyes. Laundry. Laundromat again. Our dryer's too small for this guest room load. Hey, babe, quick question. Did you happen to change oh. the computer password? Oh, yeah, I did, actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries. It happens to the best of us. Why the change, though? Well, our little tech whiz of a son has been spending more time on the computer than on his schoolwork lately. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, sneaky move. So where's the new hiding spot for the password this time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. <laughs> Figured it would be a safe bet. Got it. Thanks for keeping things in check, darling. Anything hey, well, I don't need these. troublemaker, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm the dryer. That's what she, Emily Turner. 25 to 2013. Burned alive. Not a good way to go. No, no, no. Uh. Which one's the dryer? This doesn't really matter. Password. Oh wow, okay, let's right. Or that door creaked open. I don't like that. Hold on. Of course it's probably gonna automatically put it in for me. But just in case it doesn't. I like how it's the Windows logo still. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't put it in for us. Alright. So, what have we got? Uh, folders locked. Okay, yes. Yes, he does. Emily, that'd be me. Um, no. Yes, I don't know. No, he hates cooking. Now that you bring it up. Yes, I do. I feel like I get watched sometimes a little bit. Uh, yeah. You know you're being watched. Yes. <laughs> I seriously looked in the, in the, the camera. <laughs> Cool. I hope. I don't even remember any of that. Under the bed. Okay, that was, uh... 
Useful. Oh, is it just darker? Oh. How do I get under the bed? Oh. Okay. I thought someone was like gonna grab my arm or something. Oh, what the? No, you get out. I ain't getting out. All right, I'll get out. So I don't need the keys anymore. It's so dark, I can't see anything. But I have keys. Oh, it's right. I have to actually select them. Wait, did that just a holster? Oh, probably put it away. I thought it meant like I had a gun or something. Rose saw Chase's tears and pain and gave him an arcade to ease his strain. Play little one, he softly said. Let joy in games soothe your dread. All right, we're going to end that one here. Um, We'll pick it up in the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this. But anyway, um, the game will be down in the description. We'll check out in a while. Um, you can let me know in the comments what you think of it so far. And uh, thank you for watching, hanging out, and catch you in the next one.